Are they singing? Are the chickens singing? They are singing. What are they singing? Okay, that guy might not be as crazy as I thought he was about these chickens. Because <laughs> they're singing. Where's this last group at, huh? I don't think they're up there. Around here somewhere? Or right over there. <laughs> you hear this shit? These chickens are singing. How did none of you notice that, huh? Did I really need to wear the stupid ass outfit? <laughs> this, these games and their weird obsession with chickens, I don't get it. <laughs> That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? I think it was you let them out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with myself any longer being complicit in this chicken oppression. But they might have destroyed the entire town. Possibly the world. They're chickens. They might have gone off to live peacefully on their own. They might have created great works of art or literature. We don't know. And we have no right to take away their fundamental liberties based on our own prejudices. They're chickens. Well, now it's clear taking away their liberties isn't enough. I have to assume you'll try to facilitate another escape. And that means the only choice is to kill them all. Oh, no, Bernard. No, don't. All right. Keep them locked up. At least so we can talk about this. You. You infiltrated the chickens. You lived among them. You know them better than anyone. What's to be done? It's a simple matter of kill or be killed. No, Bernard. They're not like that. They're chickens. All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyrs. Oh my god, <laughs> they were chickens. Oh, I just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. It Get me out of this outfit. <laughs> ah, hello. Give me my, my usual duds. It's the right thing to do. I wish I could believe that. I really do. I need to find me a full beard outfit. Then we'll look nice and right. Let's go. Let's go do the gnomes. It sounds like a good. Actually, hang on. Let's go and get. Let's get the chest open real quick. Then we'll go do the gnomes. Then we'll go do the other one. What we got in here, huh? Gold. Quite a bit of it, too. I can deal with that. I like having gold. A 
Wait, where's the gnome dude? He's around here somewhere. He's up, he's further up here, isn't he? Hold on a minute, buddy. I'm on my way. Oh, hello. Hello. Mm, lovely, aren't they? I've collected gnomes since I was a lad. My family said it was unhealthy. It made me take stock of my life. And I realized I had to make a change. So I cut off all contact with them. <laughs> now it's just me and the gnomes. They're my best friends, especially Jonathan. He's like a brother. See, I, I would actually die for him. It's his birthday today, you know. I ordered a special present for him and everything, but it, it, it never got here, unfortunately. Wait, you, you couldn't find out what happened to it for me, could you? Is everyone now being so fucked up? Great, great! Now, this package, like I said, it's very special. I ordered it from a catalogue. It was very expensive, but then this is Jonathan we're talking about. He deserves only the best. Now, according to the catalogue, the delivery coach travels through Misspeak Valley. Maybe they lost a wheel there or something. It, it's a good place to start looking around anyway. I will do just that, my oddly dressed friend. Back we go to Miss Peak Valley, where we were no less than ten minutes ago. If not short, even if not sooner or earlier. Yep, some of these quests have a bit of annoying back and forth, but you know, it is what it is. At least these missions have, or these quests have a bit more personality to them and not the random ones that pop up later on that are pretty much just, you know, hey, go and kill this, go and kill this dude. And you know, those are, they're not as fun, I can promise you that much. I also can't do them because I'm playing as a good guy. So, you know, it is what it is. Good thing is I don't think the uh, the package is too far away from, from uh, where we spawn in. More wolves, lovely. It's okay, I need the daytime kills. I think bandits ambush is here. No, not yet. Okay then. Nothing but that worthless unka stone. Lovely that is. We get nothing for this job except our feet. Here, a to refresh. Hello. All right, fine. Be that way. I don't mind shooting you guys. Hello. Well, oh, look, it's one of our old friends. <laughs> Faintly sense your aura about it, or maybe that's just a sin patina of moss. Oh no, trust me, those gargoyles are evil. The spawn of Satan. Anyway, let's head back to Brian. Give him back his evil gargoyle so we can enchant his evil gnomes. Still a pretty game, that'll never change. Though I do wish the fast traveling was a bit more convenient like it was in the uh, the last game where you could just choose 
specific areas where you want to spawn in at or travel to. I don't think the fast travel in this game is all that reliable. Sometimes you could like, you know, you can choose to spawn right on top of the, or, you know, travel right on top of the, uh, your objectives, but then you'll end up like half the map away from it. And that, believe me when I tell you, is inconvenient. Dude, what do you do to be able to afford this this property? Cause this is this is nice. Well, what the exception of the gnomes. Maybe I should have bought the shipping insurance. You got it! Oh, this is brilliant! Brilliant! You see, Jonathan? I told you, didn't I? Oh, this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be so mind-bogglingly amazing. People are gonna say, right! This is mind-bogglingly amazing! Put it in the place of honor, would you? Yes, sir. Your wish is my command. Right. Let me see. Now then, here are the instructions. Prepare your display area in pride of place. Mm -hmm. Done that. Ensure that your garden ornaments are facing your gargoyle with unbroken line of sight. Mm -hmm. Check. Face your gargoyle. Stand confident. Take a deep breath and say in an authoritative voice oh <clears throat> gargolus multipulus us you brought evil upon us all buddy They've been infused with evil now, dude. Don't you gotta destroy them. Mushrooms. They could be toadstools. Don't play with matches. Never leave home without a hat. Start every day with a healthy breakfast. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. Wait until I tell my family. Oh, I forgot I've stopped talking to them. Oh, who cares about them? This is mind-bogglingly amazing! Well, as long as you're happy, right? That's all that matters. In the morning when I wake up and I stumble out of bed I put a party on the little Oh no, I'm getting out of here now. The sky is rain or shine. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't want to deal with it. You, good sir, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch, do you not thirst for the drama and emotion of a properly structured tragic play? Of course you don't. You want to escape your troubles. You want to be made merry. You want to be amused. It is no good. We shall never agree. Ah, oh, if only we could get our hands on Morley's lost play. It would solve all our problems. Yes, it is said to bring together the opposites of tragedy and comedy in an exquisite marriage of forms. But perhaps you can find it. Yes. We beg you, the theater, the muses, the very heart and soul of this town will thank you. If you say so, guys, whatever gets me to my objective. Splendid, splendid. You should know we did commission an elderly detective to search the library for clues as to the play's whereabouts, but he never returned. The man's name is Ransom Locke, and he's rather closer to senility than one would like, truth be told. If you come across this gentleman, he may be able to aid you. I believe he is looking for the collected works of the playwright Philip Thmorley, as we speak. One can only hope they were not burned when the king closed down the academy and its library. Well, in we go. To probably the more... Well, the most creative of these side missions in this area. I 
Although that chicken one was quite interesting. Mr. Log, you in here? Turn back now, mortal one. Oh, I think not, buddy. Stay I ain't afraid of no ghost. From this accursed Only death and insanity await you. Oh, that must be the book. Don't pick it up. No, I'm gonna pick it up. No, really, I'm serious. So am I. You lot just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. <sighs> Hey, you know, that's that's. I, I need you to not do that, buddy. I have to do work. Oh, that's not very convenient. Listen, you. You're not getting my lost plate. You hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene, but performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. All right, I'll put on the dress if it gets us out of here. My love, my life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, uh, yes. A Playing classic, classic fable game music again. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. Declare my love. Here we go. My love. That sounds convincing. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me, and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. We shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath oh, of the Oh, my Royal. mortal enemy. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance. I'll do what I can, my friend. Hold up, have we been here before, love? We get so lost in the moments over and over again. Over and over again. Hold up, have we been here before, love? Chasing the dreams that they sold us.